hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a very interesting family of model called as math coder 2 i already have covered the previous family of these models and they were quite good the thing is that code has been shown to be effective in increasing the mathematical reasoning capabilities of llms due to its precision and accuracy the primary challenge in this case is that sometimes these LLMs struggle to understand math. That is where this research or this paper, which we are also going to install locally, introduces a new method for generating mathematical code accompanied with corresponding reasoning steps for continued pre-training. This approach is quite interesting. It begins with the construction of a high quality mathematical continued data set. And they have included data set for math from web data, code using mathematical packages, math textbooks and synthetic data. Then they have constructed reasoning steps by extracting latex expressions, the conditions needed for the expressions and the results of the expression from the previously collected data set. And then they have fine tuned their model. And that is how we have got this family of model, which not only inclu includes Lama 3, 8 billion with math coder 2, that is what we are going to install locally. But if you want, you can also go with the deep seek math variant, Mistral 7 billion variant and code Lama 7 billion variant in the same family. So we will be installing this model locally and then we will try it out on few of the benchmarks. The benchmarks are quite interesting too if you go through those. The performance is quite good on various very well known math benchmarks as you can see here. Even it has beaten its own base models with a quite a wide margin which is quite interesting. For example look at this GSM 8K for this deep seek math and similar story goes for math coder to lama 3 here okay enough talk let's go and try to get it installed before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so do check them out so this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda and then we are going to install some of the prerequisites in it. And let's wait for it to get activated. Shouldn't take too long. That is done. Let's install the usual suspects like Torch and Transformers. This is going to take a couple of minutes. All the prerequisites are done. Let's launch our Jupyter Notebook so that we could play around with this model in the browser environment, which makes it easier. Let's wait for it to get launched. And the notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries which we have installed and grab this math coder to Lama 38 billion model. And the model has started downloading. There are four shards of it. I think the size is same because it is based on Lama 3 model. Let's wait for it to get downloaded and make sure that you have that much space on your system. I'm also going to show you my VRAM consumption once it is downloaded. Also, meanwhile, that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, let's go back to our model. So it is going to take some time. So let's wait. The model is almost downloaded here. So model is all set and ready. Let's do the inference. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to test uh, test it out on various math questions related to different fields of uh, math like algebra, geometry and stuff. 
So first up, I'm asking it what is the value of x in this equation, and then I'm just piping it through. Uh, first converting it to the tokens with the tokenizer then model is generating the output and then we are decoding it back from tokens and then printing it out with some of the timings and while the inference is running i have just ran this gpu consumption so you see it is consuming just close to 31 gig of vram so it's a big model it's a full model so you would need at least uh, that much vram in order to get it running properly and there you go the answer is correct x is equal to 3 as per this equation but i was also hoping that it will also show us some step by step resolution but anyway okay let's try to ask it uh, another one so this is slightly i would say complex so i'm asking it a bakery sells 480 muffins and 240 cakes per day if they operate seven days a week what is their total weekly sales of baked goods so let me run it and there you go so looks good it has produced a correct answer and it has done some it has shown some of the calculations but i would hope that it would give us more but anyway okay so let's try out a geometry one okay so i'm just giving it a very uh, common geometrical problem that i'm just asking it to give me the area of the path so let me run it and there you go the answer looks good to me i have double checked it with chat gpt and the answer is correct so the results are quite fine i mean i there are no doubt about it but the only deficiency which i am finding is that there is no step by step deduction it's not explaining how it is doing it and then it is not justifying the answer which is okay but i think that it will make a lot of sense here anyway towards the end let's finally try the pythagorean theorem here it is a bit complex so let me see if it is able to do that give us the full equation or not so let me run it and there you go it has produced the correct answer in the centimeters also has given us some of the calculation which it has done so good stuff as far as answers are concerned they are correct and quite impressive i would say but i think the only thing lacking is that it should give us more grounded answer more detailed answer also the data set which has been used for this model's fine tuning and training is math code pile which is of very high quality as i mentioned earlier so if you get a chance also have a look at math code pile which is quite good and you can get the link from this repo or from their hugging face card and i will drop the link to it in video description that's it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.